Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here. Welcome back for more Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. Off screen, I managed to buy some more Ultra Balls because we're definitely going to need them. And I bought some more healing items, such as um, Hyper Potions and some more Super Potions. So, anyway, let's keep on moving, shall we? You can see Ardos in the background there. <laughs> but we're not going to deal with him just yet. We got to deal with this gentleman first. Guess who? It's Snaddle. Would you look at that? Whoa, 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 whoa. So we meet again. My play was perfect. The only problems were that utterly useless, lovely, and gorgeous. And you. You spoiled the brilliant plan I devised for Fnac City. And thanks to that terrible hard nosed woman, I suffered the humiliation of having my worst moment broadcast all over Sore. To gain Master Grievel's forgiveness, and for me to assume my rightful position as the governor of Aure, I must defeat you. This time I won't be shy about revealing to you the full extent of my POWER! Alright, Snaddle. I guess it's time for a rematch. You really do look like a girl. I just, I don't even know. I guess you are a guy. Anyways, you're setting up Metang and Quagsire. Huh, <laughs> that Metang still hasn't evolved to Metagross, I see. But alrighty, we're sending out Athena and Shadow to do the job. Let's get started. This is going to be a very, very fun battle. Okay, so I'm using Return on Quagsire and Flamethrower on Metang. Should be a relatively uh, good battle we have here. You have six Pokemon, so it's going to be a fairly long one. Hopefully not. Actually, I, I kind of do hope so, because um, this, this is probably going to be the only thing that's going to be in this video. Okay, so your next Pokemon is a Scizor. Yeah, if you don't have a fire type or something to take that thing out quickly, get something. Because that thing does a lot of damage if do not done properly. If not dealt with properly. Properly. Holy crap. Why aren't you using that on um, Shadow? I mean, come on. It's fire for crying out loud. Alright, return. And flamethrower. Scizor goes down no problem with a fire move, so... Take advantage of that. It's part steel and part bug. So, goodbye, Scizor. Very, 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 very nice. Okay, your next Pokemon is... A Solrock. Alright, Solrock. What do you got for me, man? You're a Shadow Pokemon. Okay. Solrock is a rock um, rock psychic type. It's the counterpart to Lunatone. Soul Rock has okay stats. It doesn't have the best stats in the world. I mean, it's speed, it's kind of slow, it has okay special attack, but other than that, it's really not that great. Um, you can find a lot better psychic types in this place, so I uh, kind of don't recommend it at all. I mean, I could prefer I prefer Lunatone over Soul Rock, to be honest, but eh, whatever. Okay, so we're just going to weaken Soul Rock, and that's perfect. Very, very nice catch range. And you flinched! And don't hit Shadow Pl Oh, you did. Eh, I'm not too worried, though. I'm just gonna catch the Soul Rock, though. It's gonna be nice times. Alright, can I kill this stupid cast form? Yes, I can. Awesome. Goodbye. Almost level 34. Or 44. Nice. Okay, this could be an issue. Starmie. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. Starmie is a very powerful water type Pokemon. Starmie is an awesome Pokemon. Um, it's one of the best water psych. It's one of the best water types there is. Well, not the not that there is, but it's really powerful. It's really fast too. This thing can learn Thunderbolt even. If you want to teach it Thunderbolt, be my guest. I highly recommend Starmie. And the only problem is it's this late in the game and you're almost done. So, I mean, if you want to, I don't know, I, I, I really recommend it, but if you want to wait this long to get it, then be my guest. Okay, Starmie, you're going to be a fun one. Hopefully I don't kill you. I hope I don't kill you. Oh no, that's fine. If you don't attack me, this is going to be a really short-lived battle. I'm telling you right now, this will be a short battle if you don't do anything to me. Did I already knock out all... Are you really almost dead? You only have one Pokemon left? You really? Wow. Okay, Ultra Ball on Starmie. Um, just use a flamethrower, I guess. If I catch this thing this fast and beat this guy this quickly, I'll be shocked. We're only at five minutes here. Come on, you gotta put me up a better fight than that. Please? You really? You're gonna make this so fast? 
That was Snaddle! Wow! My plan! It was supposed to be perfect! It... I, I don't know what to say! Ooh, my plan, my perfect plan! Master Grievel, forgive me! Wow! And basically, if you take the elevator that he's going into, or actually, if you if you actually come with me over here, you will actually be able to go down here and take the shortcut back to the entrance to heal up. And you know what? Five minutes does not make a video. You know what? We're gonna go take down this guy. You see this guy? We're gonna go fight him too. Let's do it. It's been a while, boy. Do you remember me? Do you recall this? I hope to engage in port. There's no need for thanks. I was merely punishing a fool that used a shadow Pokemon in public. At that time, we didn't want the world to know that we, Sephir, were planning. Back then, I thought you were just an ordinary child. Little did I suspect that you would become Sephir's biggest and most da damaging threat. That's enough talk. You have the skills and work with, with blah, blah, the weak Center Dark Isle. Let me see your abilities in full glory. And time to fight Sephir Admin Ardos, one of Grievel's henchmen. This guy should prove a, to be a fun little battle. Sending out Swellow and Alakazam. Oh boy, this is going to be an awesome fight. Because I figured fighting, you know, fighting Snaddle was not that great. It was too short. Anyways, we have a Shadow Pokemon. We have Swellow. Swellow is a very, it's a, it's one of the, it's one of, it's of normal bird type. Like, what can you expect? It's of normal flying type. It's fast. I do recommend this one more, more than the others. This thing is uh, very aggressive. It could do some serious damage. Well, not serious damage, but it's what you expect from a bird type Pokemon. Um, so I do recommend it if you want to wait this late in the game to get it. And Alakazam, that's a threat. That's a huge threat. That's an issue. Whew. Okay, Brick Break. Don't kill Swellow. Eh, wow. Didn't kill it. I'm pretty happy. Alright, that Alakazam has to go down, though. Or else, if it's not, we're gonna have an issue. A lot of issues, to be exact. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Yeah, Shadow Sky. What can you do? Alright, you know what? I'm gonna try throwing this stupid ball at Swellow, because I just want to. And kill the Alakazam off. That thing's just annoying. Alright, Swellow. Alright, little to know about Ardos. He has three Shadow Pokemon. We are he's getting up in the list of Shadow Pokemon. Three. And Swellow was caught? No problem. Wow, this is amazing. Your next Pokemon is Kingdra. That's an issue. The only thing that's weak to Kingdra is another dragon type Pokemon or move. So you gotta be really careful when dealing with Kingdra. That's just gonna be an issue. It's dragon uh, water. So it has no weakness besides dragon. And level 44. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, your next Pokemon is a Heracross. Okay, I know how to deal with you. I know how to deal with Heracross. A simple fire type move will be enough to take you down, so I'm not too concerned. That Kingdra is going to be the most annoying part. I, mean, I said Alakazam was annoying, so is Kingdra. This Kingdra's got that Hydro Pump going on. It's going to do some serious damage if not dealt with properly. So I want to kill it off as fast as I can here. I have Flamethrower. I don't need a big fire move for this. I can just use Flamethrower. It'll go down. I hope I don't eat my words. Ooh, okay. I didn't eat my words. Alright, Ardos. Your next Pokemon is... Electabuzz! Yeah, this is your next Shadow Pokemon! I guess you could say this is the counterpart to Magmar. Electabuzz is a very fast electric type. It's a hard-hitting one, to be exact. This thing is no joke. Like I said, it's, it's another Pokemon I can highly recommend. It is that good of a Pokemon. So, if you want a good Pokemon, I recommend Electabuzz. It's very fast and hard-hitting. It has a really good special attack. The only problem is you can get it this late in the game. I mean, that's the only drawback to it. But if you want it, you got it. It's right there. Or you could just simply take the Elekid, actually, that was given to you by the guy who gave the Togepi. If you really want that. Okay, let's just... How do I want to do this? I guess this works. I mean, I know I'm faster than both Kingdra and that stupid Electabuzz. 
But I don't want to kill it off. Yeah, that thing could take a hit. Shadow Break! Yikes. Let's see how much damage it does. Wow! Wow! That was messed up! Come on, please, please, paralyze, paralyze, please, 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 please. No! Miss, 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 no! Goodbye! Oh! This is gonna be a doozy, folks! This is gonna be a doozy. Chris Angel, you're coming out here, cause, uh, I need your help. Okay, that Electabuzz has to be mine, so... Yeah, that stupid Shadow Sky, man! Ugh, yikes! Maybe... Yeah, I guess it's gonna... Oh, no, I Trinity! No! Oh, no! Alright, that Kingdra's gotta go, though. It's gotta go. Alright, uh, shoot! Rumble Pack, I need you to paralyze. Man, this might be the first time I actually have to use revives in this game. Maybe because I didn't heal off screen or nothing. Okay, this is. Hopefully, we can take down that stupid Kingdra and that Electabuzz not kill me. Okay, it didn't kill me. Please kill the Kingdra. Please, please, please. Thank you. Kingdra was annoying to deal with. So, goodbye. Holy crap. And now for your last Pokemon. It's a Snorlax. Yep, Ardos' last Shadow Pokemon is a Snorlax. Snorlax has a lot of HP and a lot of special defense. This thing has amazing physical attack. Who cares about this thing's speed? It could do so, so much damage. I highly recommend Snorlax. Snorlax... See, we're getting to a lot of good Pokemon here. Snorlax is a very powerful even defensive normal type. I would just be careful, because Snorlax, it, it proves to be a doozy if it hits you. So I'd be really careful if I were you on that one. Okay, if I can catch Electabuzz, we're in the clear. We will be in the clear, so let's hope we do that. Okay. Now, the Snorlax is the last Pokemon we deal with. And it's a good thing, because we're going to paralyze it. Yeah, so, um, for 12 minutes, we're taking down two admins. That's a wonderful time. And thank God, it's paralyzed. Alright, Thunderbolt, and... Oh, sheesh. Let's use Reflect. Because this thing has a new shadow move, called Shadow End. It has a low crit... It has a low hit ratio, but... Or low accuracy... But it dishes out a lot of damage. and But the recoil is half its HP. Like so. Yeah, you're going to see this thing in action. Goodbye, Chris Angel. Oh, no, you survived? Wow. But you guys, you can see the, um, yeah, that's how much, that's his recoil. And it has leftovers? Oh, that just gives me more of a reason to catch it. All right, Snorlax, you're mine, boy. Oh, if I can catch you and end this video off here, it'd be a nice little time. It's only 13 minutes! Holy crap! But Snorlax may not give me a- Yeah, it's, it's gonna give me a run for my money. Now, imagine if I killed the Snorlax. Oh, I would eat my words and have to redo this whole fight all over again. It'd be a sad experience. Look at that! It's in the red. Perfect. And it's paralyzed. Yeah, I'm not gonna hit it again. I'm not going to hit it again. I am not risking that, man. It's not going to happen. I might as well just use Calm Mind or something. Oh, wait a minute. I think it's because of Reflect that Shadow End did not kill Chris Angel. But I can't kill it. I can't hit it with another Thunderbolt. It's going to die. Alright, Snorlax. You're mine! And the battle's over! Oh my goodness, this was so easy! That was Sifir Admin Ardos! Wow! This is trouble if something's not done. Wow! That's amazing! Wow! I realize now that I should have crushed you much earlier. This is out of my hands now. I must refer you to Master Grievel himself. But boy, don't think that this is over. I won't abandon my dreams! Wow! I can't believe we took down both Snaddle and Ardos. Okay, so now we're going to go inside this building here. 
And as you can see, we have a little healing center. I'm going to take advantage of that to its full extent because huh, we have we fought two admins. I didn't even have to use a revive, man. Just look at all the shadow Pokemon we caught in that battle. It's awesome. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm going to take these leftovers off this thing off screen. And I think after two admins, we're going to end this video off here. Next time on Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, we will continue on with Cinedark Isle. And with that, my friends, I will see you guys next time for more Pokemon XD.